summarize kind of where we're at. This is the first time we've met in two months because we keep not getting the right or getting a Zoom link or getting the meeting warned right. And because this wasn't warned correctly, because we didn't have a working Zoom link, this is just a discussion meeting and not a decision meeting. Mm -hmm. um, and that Pellin and um, and Carol can't join. And, so. Jer and, and, and Jeremy also? He... I haven't heard anything from Jeremy, no. I thought he sent an email that he would that he was called out for he was called to do a presentation or something like that that he hadn't anticipated. That was last potential meeting. That was I the last one. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that was two weeks ago. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I think because we've been called in, just to reflect on what you're saying, we've been called in to do like DEI trainings for city committees and staff. And we're like, that is not the role of this committee. That is not like part of our charter. That is not what we're technically trained to do. And that should be like paid work. Um, and we've been called in supporting processes. So like the Elks Club project planning process. Um, and then we've we've developed some tools for like the budgets process. And then just to repeat back what you're saying, everything else has been put into other committees, housing, restrooms, lots of other, lots of other things. So we've kind of done the, and if, unless there are significant issues that we should be taking up, maybe you should raise the question at the next meeting to, um, of like, what is the purpose of this committee? And if we wanted to, um, make a recommendation to council to to close it potentially you know with the understanding that the city would provide staff support or consultant support for running you know dei and um equity issues kind of in its own more like staff capacity right so lauren is this something that we should bring up at council next next meeting <laughs> next yeah i think we can i mean i guess my question like not having reread the equity um report recently i mean is this just feeling like there's lack of direction or like oh we've like done what we can as a committee from the equity report and and like i mean i what i'm slightly concerned about is like cameron who is our biggest like staff advocate is gone and so i don't know who would pick up this work i think it will get i don't think it will get done if we disband okay and i think it will be a, it will take us back in the city efforts around the mission of this group um i don't think anyone else is equipped and like Carol's role is so unique. She's not like in the central office to carry it forward the way Cameron was and to like make sure that the budget process is gonna, like that's would be putting too much on Carol. That's not fair to her and it's not like her role. So, I mean, I could see like reassessing or something but I would just say if, we, if that's like the decision like that this group wants to make, I just, I think it would be like, um, you know, I, I think our equity work would go, would stall. I don't know if you feel the same way, Jennifer. But. Yeah, I mean, as a indigenous person, I feel like this is like a really important committee um, for our little town. And I don't want to disband, but I also understand the lack of clarity on as to what to do now as the original charge was to do something that apparently has been completed so thanks yeah i think i'm also just feeling a lot of like frustration and general stalling because of the lack of you know just like the technical lack of meetings recently and i'm just putting in the chat the um the goals from the committee here too <laughs> goals from the equity report i'm sorry or the you know recommendations from the from the equity report um 
And yeah, I think like, yeah, Michael, we haven't talked about this as a full committee. I think let's definitely check in with Jeremy and Palin as well too. And then, right. And then maybe if it is like, actually we need to make sure that, you know, this team is like trained up and able to like training for trainers for committees and staff, then like, let's rewrite the charter or something, you know, like if there's, if there's more of like a new direction setting that we should do as a committee, maybe that's maybe more more the question to ask. I mean, there's also, I mean, this committee has always like met twice a month, like most committees meet once a month, like maybe there's just a lighter workload, but there's like try to get some more clarity and focus. And maybe it's not like, you know, maybe there would be projects in and out that would be like more work, but it's not like you know, maybe it's like an oversight and monitoring and like, okay, is the city making progress on these things and like bring in different staff to check in on like if it's, I don't know, like I think there's different ways yeah. we can make it, but it could be, um, I could see different ways we could try to structure it, you know, without trying to like create a bunch of work for ourselves, but still keep like the focus and like mission of this group, it's, like alive and active for the city. Michael, you're muted. There you uh, go. Yeah. Um, I thought we were onto something when we tried uh, to have a second meeting of the com of the co committees committees. Um, the the underwhelming response uh, suggested that that that's a kind of dead end. But I do think that that's one thing that would help keep social economic justice issues you know alive elsewhere except in our committee. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, I, and the special committees that get get appointed to solve specific problems. But other than that, I really can't think of what, you know, how, how we go I, how we go forward. That may be a lack of imagination on my part, and I'll, I'll plead guilty to that. But, um, you know, the the Elks Club uh, process. Um, apparently it hasn't worked all that well because they're they're trying to think about how to get more people involved with with the initial plan that they had. Uh, I'm not sure what we could do to contribute to that as a committee. Um, you know, I feel as uh, I've expressed this before. I feel some frustration with the fact that we cannot get to the people that um, creative discourse talk to. Yeah. To get to get their input. I mean, that's where we that's if we could be the conduit for those voices, that would be helpful. But since we can't, we're not allowed to use that. They consider that proprietary. Um, I'm not sure how we re recreate that. You know, that that channel to to find people who are willing to talk with us from their from the perspective of being the targeted group that we're trying to serve but that doesn't help much because apparently cr is you know, cd is just not going to relent on that well i think and just as a reminder you know we can send them an email that they can send out to that list um and i'm just realizing we haven't done that for the elks club project yet and so i'm gonna reach out to the elks club people early later right after this and just to say if there is language that you want us to send out to this group we can you know draft that up for us and we'll send that we can send that out um but i do think yeah the elks Lock project is still looking for support on public engagement and i you know went to another meeting on that and um yeah per, you know shared shared some of those ideas and this is another good one and um yeah, i don't know what else i mean i thought we had talked about and i i think it was like a Jeremy project and I know he hasn't been able to come to the last few but like that part of the idea was to be like developing more of a like checklist for every city process so like as we try to be like okay how are we reaching people who are 
typically not engaged in these type of processes unless you have like a deliberate outreach approach that we're like laying out so that because every project it feels like you're starting from scratch like oh who should we talk to i don't know yeah. outreach and it's like can't we operationalize some of this and like so i thought that was some like something that we were going to try to do and like as a resource for the city also and obviously it would be like you know have to be flexible depending on the type of project but i I thought Jeremy was taking a start at that and that like we had talked about if creative discourse contacts folks, like once they're in this process, then this whole issue around like, like then they would be part of a public process and there would be people who, if they opted in to be like willing to be contacted again, like that, you know, we could start to like work around having them as like a bottleneck to be for outreach. Yeah. Well, they are a bottleneck at this point. I mean, it would be nice if they could turn that into being a funnel instead of, <laughs> instead of a bottleneck, but um, just something that we could, so that we can make contact with those folks again. Well, and, and just to reopen it again, like the whole, that's why we have went with the consultants is that we could have that barrier and so that people would not be able to FOIA request who was participating in that process that people could speak more freely. Right. And so I just, understand yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like intellectually, I understand it. And it's still emotionally frustrating. So yeah, but just wanting well, to I mean, say that for the record. <laughs> Um, frustrating because it means that there's really no ongoing dialogue with yeah. with folks who are presumably the ones that we're trying to um, bring into the conversation, um, and and that and that's that's why I think it's important that we be able to to reach to reach them or at least to to find out if they're willing to talk with us, you know, at some point in person rather than so, so indir indirectly. Yeah. <clears throat> well, so I'll, I'll reach out to them about getting that list from for Elks Lodge. I'll reach out to Jeremy about any update on that list. Reach out to uh, the city to figure out what's going on with our meetings and um, and then I think our agenda items for next meeting are talking about like more committees on committees or like trainings for trainers for city and staff or changing or and changing charter. Um, is that covering it? Anything? Yeah. Well, so I was just going to ask, like, is that help? I kind of feel like it would. Probably it would be a more productive council conversation if we had some more like focused questions. Like, I don't feel like coming into this meeting, I could like, that Jennifer and I could like have, <laughs> know exactly what to ask of council. Um, and like, so maybe one more, like a really focused conversation with like, you know, and I think it's fair enough to say, given like, you know, we've created a bunch of other new committees since this one, like, does it still make sense to have this committee? If so, like, can we update and refine and add clarity to what the charge of it is and its role? And, you know, and it has fluctuated over time and like, let's reassess it. I, I think that makes total sense. I just don't feel prepared to do that based on this conversation. I don't know, Jennifer, if you have more clarity. Than me. <laughs> and, and do we know who, and is Carol going to be permanently the, all right. And will she have the same sorts of responsibility and can she take on the same sorts of responsibilities about training, uh, the ongoing training and, and, and being the ear for the city uh, on social, social equity, problems. I mean, it's an exhausting work. I think that's one of the things that, that, that Cameron found, you know, so, t you know, really little physically exhausting. I mean, it was complicated by her long COVID, but uh, she was, she, that was a big item on her plate and she had a very full plate. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm wondering if Bill is rethinking the job description and uh, for that position. And if so, where is that, where is the social equity stuff going to go? And with what kind of authority, you know, what kind of authority will anyone who has that position have to 
you know, plan for budget requests, plan for programming, implementing the, the, what's left of the suggestions and ongoing training. I think I think it's one shot is not the, the answer. It's, it's got to be at least annual. Um, and there has to be somebody who, you know, who's going to who's going to be sure that that happens. Um, I don't know if Carol has room on her and her agenda for that kind of stuff. Right. And I think that's like all part of the questions. I mean, I'm not those specifically, but like later on the questions after my initial questions of the city count being like, mm -hmm. are, is someone else going to send? Is, is Carol in charge of sending out the Zoom link? <laughs> you know, just <laughs> things like that. It's just like trying to figure that out. So I'm um, going to start by asking those. And then like later on, I think maybe more like figure like from there, then get a sense of what is the scope of the role of the staff liaison for the committee. And then I think if we do, can, can, can um, you guys just share a little bit more about the budget timeline too, and just seeing if that's informative for any of our timeline decisions and things. Well, in any case, we have to know whether we can carry over the unused money that we have from this fiscal year. Yeah. Could ask that question tonight, or at least seed the question and try to get an answer by next meeting. Um, let me look at the calendar. I think December 14th is when we're going to be seeing, like, you know, it, I don't know if you've got it handy, Jennifer. It was like our next, we've got a council meeting tonight and then, then it's like December 14th and 21st, I think we'll be like going through the initial budget proposals. I know like the budget Congress that the staff, like that's been ongoing. Um, so I, that's like the early side of, you know, trying to, Way in. I do have those on my calendar. Great. And then it's basically like every Wednesday in January, continuing to hash it out as needed. And then with the um, 26th of January, which is a Thursday, as the final approval of what's going to go on the ballot. Okay. But really, December 14th. So we've got a month. Yeah. yeah. Okay. For for bringing those proposals, if for changing any proposals and bringing anything forward. And that would be ideal, at least. So we're not trying to get something in after a lot of decisions have been made. Great. Michael, have you been involved in the Elks Club project? Just to check that off the list here. No, I'm, I okay. haven't been, but uh, I did take a walk there uh, with John Snell. And, oh, great. Um, and I had a conversation with him just yesterday, I think it was, uh, about because he was at the meeting also. And, and one of the things that he was thinking was that it would be um, good to do a kind of open house where, where you offer food and food and, and beverages and walk around the property and uh, and because that would that the food and food and drink would would get people there Bring me out yeah <laughs> uh, and then the, then as long as you're there you sort of if you do it in small groups you have someone who's recording ideas that people are seeing rather than trying to do this in the abstract, because it really, it's hard to just look at a map and say, what's going on here? Yeah. But walking, walking it, I've discovered with him, you, can, you, you, you come to places where you say, oh, here's a place where you could have housing, or here's a place where you don't want to start messing around with, with the landscape. Um, and it's that kind of on the spot, you know, they used to call them, what were they called? Um, charrettes. Um, they were, it was an architectural term, but basically you'd sort of 
bring a model on uh, on a horse carriage and put it in the central square, and people would come and talk about it. Uh, but it's it's that kind of on the spot that I think would stimulate a lot of interest and might get some good ideas. Yeah. And what our committee has to do with that, I, I don't know, but, um, but well, I'll just leave it there. At there. Yeah. No, because yeah, I think that they laid out that they've got these different rounds of process and that kind of the initial like open meeting round, I think is over and that this mm -hmm. is then going to be more like um, they're going to present proposals and get feedback on them. And so I think that also could be really cool to have like an open house of food and drink and to say, mm -hmm. what if we do this here? What if this here? What do you think now that we're here and we can see it and touch it and smell it? Yeah. So I'll pass it on to it, it can even be done as a potluck. I mean, it doesn't the, the it doesn't have to be all on the city's budget. It can be something that people are invited to bring cookies or whatever to share with the rest. Christmas cookies. Yeah, Swap. right. Left over Christmas cookies, right? Yeah. Fruit cakes, all those fruit cakes that people get and they don't right. want to eat. <laughs> but I, I think the boozy fruit cakes and really uh, like, loosen us up. Yeah. Something like that has the 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 view and the and the feel of a real community event, and that I think that would be helpful. Yeah. Great. Okay. Anything else that we should make sure we cover on this meeting? And I'm so sorry again. I'm st I feel like I'm still like so riled up and frustrated that I like haven't been able to like settle into this meeting. But I'll send these big next steps out. You're fine. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, thanks, team. Um. Do you want me to write up any of this, or is this are these chat notes enough to circulate? I've I mean, been taking notes, so I can circulate this, and once we figure out kind of what's happening for our next meeting and things, then can can circle out those those ideas. Okay. Okay. Good. I'm glad not to write a min non yeah, minute. I got you. <laughs> Thank okay. You. Thanks, team. Well, Thanks. See you. Have a good week. You. Okay. Bye.